To clean and oil this serger, what you want to do is take your brush and clean out all the lint that has been accumulated in here. And yes, it will accumulate fast. Never be afraid of having a dirty serger. That just means you've been using it and that's okay. But with the little lint that has been gathered up from the cutting blade, you're going to notice that it is going to absorb the oil that's here. Now on your picture, there's even two places. It says to oil. So go ahead and pull out your oil that came in your accessory bag. Take off this. The very first time you use it, you're going to need to stick a little pin down there to open it up. Get all the lint out. Then, if as I turn my little hand wheel here, notice this, this part, the shaft is going up and down through that black kind of collar. And down at the bottom, there's kind of a, a, a an area that is rubbing against each other. That is where they want you to put a little drop of oil there and there, and then you, as you run it, that will kind of lubricate those two areas. Once they're lubricated though, the next round of lint that you stitch is going to kind of be attracted to the moist area of the oil. So this is a constant battle. So when you think about it and you clean it, put a couple drops of oil in, it will save your serger to run a, a lot longer than those that don't. And then once a year, take your serger in and have it professionally clean because there's still a lot of moving parts back behind here that only need to be oiled about once a year to really keep this running for years to come.